This was a society with many of the hallmarks of a great civilization. The Moche built great cities with massive monumental architecture. They had a powerful political and religious elite, and they supported an artistic culture capable of producing spectacular pottery and metalwork. But then, around 650 AD, there is a mystery. Archaeologists found evidence that the cities had been abandoned, and this extraordinary civilization seemed to vanish into the desert. The rise and fall of the Moche raised tantalizing questions. How had they created such a sophisticated civilization in the desert? What kind of society was it? And most fundamentally of all, what had happened to them? The problem scientists faced was that much about the Moche was still shrouded in mystery. They left no written record, and the people today have little knowledge of the distant past. Then, archaeologists came across a new clue out in the desert. Here they found signs of more Moche construction projects, an elaborate system of irrigation canals. Mud brick aqueducts carried water tens of kilometers. Many are still in use today. This was how the Moche had tamed the desert, brought water to their cities, and grown the crops that sustained them. But what was still missing was any real insight into how Moche society worked. There was, however, one important set of clues. The Moche left an extraordinarily rich record of images and stories on pots and vessels. Many appear to depict everyday scenes from the world around them. But there were others that are more unusual. They appeared to depict scenes from an elaborate ritual, a form of battle. The war that they were fighting, the combat that they were doing, was a ritual performance, and the idea is that one of them should be able to knock down the headdress you know, or helmet of the other one. If he does that, one of the warriors becomes a prisoner. 